This episode of Flate Equipment's On the Road is brought to you by Hendrickson. Visit www.hendrickson-intl.com for more information and enjoy the show. On the road towards an autonomous truck, the majority of trucks ordered today are already outfitted with automated manual transmissions that offer adaptive cruise control to maintain a safe following distance. We have collision mitigation systems that can apply the brakes to help prevent or minimize the severity of an accident. The next piece of the autonomous truck puzzle is steering systems. Like all automated systems, it begins with baby steps. Find out where lane keeping steering assist systems will start and where they're heading on this episode of On the Road. I'm Jason Morgan, and this is Alex Chrissy. We travel the globe to get our hands on the latest truck equipment and talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On the Road. ZF put me behind the wheel of Reax, its hydraulic electric steering system in which an electronic motor provides the required assist to the hydraulic steering system. Sensors gather torque, steering wheel position, and vehicle speed data to ensure this assist matches the driving conditions. Reax reduces the amount of torque required to turn the wheel in slow speed maneuvers and can increase the torque required at higher speeds to help hold the truck in its lane. Here's an example of slow speed maneuvering assist. And here's an example of the assist maintaining the steering wheel position when rolling over bumpy terrain at a higher speed. I spoke with Mark Cartwright, Global Product Planning Manager at ZF, for more details. Since this is an electric motor with controller, torque angle position sensor, all built within the same unit, it knows where straight ahead is, and it knows how much torque should be at straight ahead. Mm -hmm. So when the system reads this off-center torque value that the driver's having to put into it, right. whether it's road crown or the wind, it will average that out and say, this guy needs some assistance in this direction. I'll give that to him and take away the, the force that he's having to put on the wheel. The driver will feel that as, as, oh, I'm not having to put that work into it anymore. What we typically see is that an experienced driver will notice a difference. And as he notices what it does for him, he'll become accustomed to it and really start to like it. If we have a vehicle transported across country for a show or something like that, the initial experience of the driver is like, okay, a new technology. Uh, but by the time he's finished driving for those few days, he right. go, I really like that. I want that on my next vehicle. Right. Because he realizes what it does for him in so many aspects. Sure. You mentioned bringing down the fatigue and leveling the, the applicant pool for, for driver retention. So getting more people in the seats, because it's a hard job, making the it's job a little easier. It's a hard job. If we can make it so that anyone can feel comfortable in a large commercial vehicle. Those people are going to start to consider driving as a career instead of, I never even thought that was possible. Sure. So if we can do that, that's going to help the industry in its entirety. Sure. For more episodes of On the Road, head over to feontheroad.com. <laughs>